And my mother would wake me up to watch these black and white movies and the actors that she thought were great. And I just fell into those movies. I mean, I, it's like I was in them. Some of my credits are three Broadway shows and a lot of off-Broadway. The Broadway shows were uh, via Lincoln Center, a show called Mule Bone. Then I did a, um, I got to take over the role, the female role in August Wilson's Two Trains Running, which was very exciting for me. I got to kiss Lawrence Fishburne, for everybody who cares. Because wasn't that chilly unbelievable? I, say I never thought I'd be a commercial actor. I actually have a very commercial look, at least when I have hair. We have done quite a few commercials and that's been the main way I've kept health insurance going. Then I've had some TV films, one with Meryl Streep, that was a big deal. We had a staff meeting this afternoon. Dr. Abisak discussed your plans to take Robbie to Baltimore. She believes you're losing it. Just finished uh, the best role I've ever had on Law and Order, a guest, guest artist role on Law and Order. I don't care a damn about Eric. You just want to save some cops' butts. Those are some pretty harsh words, Mrs. Thomas. You earned them. Eight years you people have kept me dangling on a string. Well, I'm not dancing for you no more. I don't care how many strings you try to pull. What I love about acting, oh my God, what do I love about acting? You get to be different people. You get to experience the full range of human emotions, which isn't always acceptable to the people around you. But if you're in a play, you get to run the gamut. Um, I love getting lost in a story. What we're gonna go look at is one of the sessions of the Lincoln Center Summer Intensive for Teens, where they take high school kids, I guess they're mostly considered inner city kids, and give them a theater experience for an academic year. All of my teaching stuff up until this, this moment in my life has been primarily about just trying to piece together a living. But I have recently decided that uh, life being short, I needed to put more into it and get more out of it. And I think I will, because the thing that surprised me was that I'm actually a good teacher. No more time. You need this character. Go ahead. I get a sense of being uh, necessary. Most of the kids I work with are really thirsty for a place where you can't make mistakes. And uh, that's what acting is. So I always get positive feedback from them. They're enjoying it. So what did you do? Okay. Now I'm going to ask you some questions about the character. That was, that's wonderful. You took a chance, didn't you? It's true, my body is my instrument, my body and my voice, and my imagination, and my soul. Was this a character who is going to necessarily wow him in every audition? And I'm learning I'm going to have to understand that I'm not just a body. You know, cancer has had a profound effect uh, on my work life. I have a feeling of not having a lot of time to waste. Everything I do should matter to me.